Oh gosh, oh my, you say you're taken? I am taken by oh, this guy. Oh darn, I was gonna ask if you wanted to come in and play some checkers with me. Welcome back to the Omni Adventures YouTube channel. Today is a very special day, as always, because every day is a special day. Ooh. But we are back at Taste of Nuts. Woo! Woo! Now, before we begin, please do us a huge favor. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe with those bell notifications turned on. And without further ado, let's get right into the Park. video. Park oh. video. <laughs> that was so awkward. Perfect. We'll see you soon. <laughs> so we just made it in the park. I'm currently waiting for Marlene to get out of the restroom because going to the restroom is a very important thing to take care of first so it doesn't interrupt too much of your time at the parks. Now we're going to start our adventure here at Ghost Town. So let's see what we get first. So we just got our first round. So the way we're going to do it this time is we're actually going to taste everything together. Mm -hmm. As in each item, one of us is going to grab and we're both going to taste it and rate it because uh, we're a little bit better this time around. Yes. So for round one, we have the mac and cheese pizza and the fire chicken and waffles with, what did they say it was called? Fire honey. Well, actually it's called fire honey, but when the dude asked me if I wanted it on top or on the side, he called it habanero honey or habanero honey. No, so. habaneros are pretty damn spicy. I'm scared. I'm yes. terrible with spice, but I'll do it. <laughs> We're gonna have Marlene try everything first this time around. So let's get right to it. Oh my God. I'm genuinely very scared. What well, he said scared me. What did he say? Just have a narrow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you um, can try it just alone first if you want to try just the chicken. No, I'll, I'll put it with the chicken. What's well, chicken and waffles? I'll just try it like this. I. Mm. Is it that bad? No, I just felt the kick. Mm. It's good. I don't think I like the taste of honey with the chicken. What about just the chicken? The chicken's good. A little dry, but good. And the waffle? Mm. You gotta rate the whole dish, babe. Should I put like honey on the waffle? If you want, that's a preference. I'll put it on a, like a piece. It's not that spicy. I thought it'd be worse. Mm. Just it was so you just know, initial shock. Marlene is absolutely horrible with spice. Yeah, so you know this isn't spicy. Like if you guys have ever had uh, Mexican Doritos nacho cheese, that is her maximum. She starts dying after the bag. <laughs> You're really out of me. Can I make some soda? We got soda for a fail safe. <laughs> okay. Mmm. This is really sweet. Yeah? Mmm. It pairs really well with the honey, specifically the waffle, not the chicken as much. But it's not my cup of tea. It's oh. definitely a, like a preferred taste. As it's a good, whole, just not mine. What would you rate it? I'd rate it uh, a three out of ten. Oh wait, out of ten? Let's do oh, shoot, No, out of ten, <laughs> it's a seven. A seven? Mm -hmm. Oh, so you actually enjoyed it? Yeah, I All enjoyed right. it. I like the waffle with the honey more. All right. So now it is my turn to try this bad boy. I'm gonna mm -hmm. try just a little bit of the chicken first. Did it say if this was boysenberry? Oh, it did say it was boysenberry. It's uh, boysenberry breaded chicken tenders. I definitely taste the boysenberry. Yeah. All right. I'm just gonna, let me try a little bit of this first. I really like the waffle. The waffle mm -hmm. is like very thick, very doughy. It's like a cake. Mm -hmm. Let's try it with the, everything together. <laughs> oh, you're putting them together. Look at that. We're very different eaters. Mm -hmm. And Not my favorite thing. No? Very thick, very... I don't know. It's kind of overpowering to my mouth. Mm. What do you think about the honey? 
Let me see. I'm very indifferent about it. I like honey. It's not spicy at all, though. It's a little spicy. Well, we're ha we ve have very different like heat tolerances. Yeah. To me, honey's not hot. Um, but I do like the taste of it. Hmm. It just tastes like honey to me. Rating? I a whole. Not gonna lie, I'll probably give it like a three out of ten, three four out of ten. Three out of ten. You didn't like mm -hmm. it that much. Wow. Nah. The chicken. It's soft, but it's not even like juicy. Mm. We just had Mrs. Nuts chicken dinner outside. Yeah. And this is nothing <laughs> to that. So let's move on to the pizza. Woo! Pizza. Okay, you guys, you're gonna hate me for this, but I'm not that big of a fan of mac and cheese. But I'm gonna do this anyway. Dun dun. <laughs> right. We just lost six subscribers. Probably. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Okay. I don't even know how to eat this. I Oh, oh no. It's so mushy. It, it's mac and cheese, babe. It does taste like mac and cheese. Is it good mac and cheese though? It's okay. I mean, you don't like mac and cheese anyway. Yeah, so. I'm not a big fan of mac and cheese. I'll give it a five. A five? Five out of ten. You can be more honest with your ratings. If you don't like something, you can really lower it down. It's fair. It's five out of ten. All right. It's fine. My turn. My turn for this. Absolute monstrosity. I mean, look at that cross section. Very melty. Smells good. That mm. crispiness of the mac and cheese, I appreciate that. Most of the time that comes because they probably baked it, mm. which is also why you see these little bad boys. I see. And um, besides my culinary intuition, let's try it. You got a big bite. Go big or go home. Mm-hmm. I think I need a second bite. Interesting. Oh, mac and cheese flying everywhere. Yeah. Let me just nestle off some mac and cheese. I think you're enjoying it. <laughs> All right. So, is that on there? Weird. Very weird. Probably one of the oddest things I've ever had. Um. The mac and cheese alone, it's really good. Mm -hmm. I actually appreciate like just how creamy and crispy it is simultaneously. Mm -hmm. But this pizza dough is so thick. Yeah. Like, look how thick. That's just dough. And oh my god, that's the half fact the pizza. I can pinch it. Yeah. I don't. I personally like crispier dough, thin crispy dough. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm. I feel. I feel like this adds a layer of blandness that I'm just really not feeling. Mm. The mac and cheese is great though. That's why it's so weird. So what's your rating? I think I'll give it a six out of 10. Six out of 10? Mm -hmm. Wow, I thought you were enjoying it a little bit more. The, the mac and cheese is good, but this isn't just mac and cheese. This is the whole thing. Mm. And as a whole, this is just so overpowered that it really loses a lot of the greatness from the mac and cheese. So. I think six is what I'm gonna have to stick with. All right, fair. So, we'll see you with round two. Ooh. I can give you $10 an ounce. $10 an ounce? $10 an ounce? I'll take it. <laughs> there you go, Cannonball. Now off with you. I've got quite a bit of work to do. These people are so you. cool. Yeah. Let's go find some more. <laughs> Pop Wing Lee of Wing Lee's Laundry. Oh, it's actually animated. You can see him like ironing. That's so cool. Oh, there he is. So they got a barber shop with a one thousand dollar reward for one-eyed Ike. Hmm. One-eyed Ike. One-eyed Ike. That barber's looking at that sign, thinking, "One-eyed Ike. That man looks very familiar." <laughs> when the answer is directly under his nose. <laughs> ah, I get it. <laughs> you got the general blacksmith going on. Hello! How you doing today? I'm 
Oh, just dandy. Look at that fire. That is absolutely astonishing. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining us today. Of course. <laughs> All right, here in the sheriff's office. I don't know how much you can see, but they got a poker game that seems to be lasting a hell of a long time. Are you sleeping again? No, I was listening to you. They got a plethora of rifles back there too. So huh. Sad Eye Joe, horse thief, town jail. Sad Eye Joe, horse thief, caught by sheriff now in town jail. Not today. <laughs> Now that's fun I. So once these lovely folks are done, we're gonna go speak to our buddy Sad Eye Joe. So we're visiting the jail to visit our buddy Sad Eye Joe. Good afternoon, Mr. Sad Eye. We doggies, how you doing, buddy? Oh, just dandy and yourself? Oh, not too bad, not too bad at all. Not too bad? How you holding up in there? Oh, not too bad. It's kind of warmish in here. Yeah, we got a little bit of a breeze, so it's... Well, uh, I, what, I do, what, what I do is I tuck my shoes and socks off, uh -huh. and I can feel the breeze coming under the door and blowing on my toes. Now that's oh. some mighty fine intelligence, if I say so myself. Well, thank you very much. Who's that you got there with you? My lovely girlfriend. Hello. Hello. Oh, doggy, she's a little cutie, hi, huh, sweetheart? Oh, thank you. I'm taking those. Oh, gosh, oh, my. You say you're taking? I am taken by oh, this guy. Oh, darn. I was going to ask if you wanted to come in and play some checkers with me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I do got time for a game, though. You got it with you? Well, no, I don't actually got any checkers. <laughs> Okay. Mr. Sad Eye, if you weren't locked up, what would you be doing right now? We doggies, I'd be kicking up my heels, I'll tell you that. Mm. I don't I don't know. Gosh, nobody's ever asked me that before. Oh, we got some deeper questions. Oh gosh, oh my, you're one of them deep thinkers, aren't you? Absolutely. <laughs> we doggies, will you go ahead and ask me another question? Alright. If you could get out of here and pick any career ever, what would you pick? We doggies, well, let me think. I think I'd be... I'd be the feller that holds the keys for the jail. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good job to have. Yeah. Because I see that feller walk by all the time, and he looks happy as can be. <laughs> How about you, buddy? What job would you take? Uh, I think I'd be a farm hand. A farm hand? A farm hand. We doggies. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Either that or one of those people in them talkies. A talkie? A talkie. Oh, gosh almighty. Do you got some acting in you? A little bit. Ooh, uh, doggies. We're currently going to school for that. Oh, gosh almighty. Have you, have you been in any productions? Nothing particularly fancy. Oh, darn. I was hoping <laughs> I could come see you. I mean, eventually, we'll come back and we'll bring you tickets to our first show. All right. Sounds good to me, buddy. Now I got have a, a good question. One. Oh, oh. Why are you steal the horse out, I Joe? Oh, it was a bad idea, I tell you. I wanted to see my gal. Aww. And, and, and I said, I just grabbed the first horse I could, and it turned out to be that dead blasted sheriff's horse. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I was going I was gonna give it back. I just sort of forgot, you know? It yeah. happens. One thing led to another, you know? Your girl would be proud. That's right. Are, 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 you, are you two on a date today? Of course. Mm -hmm. Sweet doggies, has there been any hand holding? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Maybe sneaking a smooch here and there. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, that's too cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blushing in here. Well, thank you for your time, Mr. Shadow. We'll All be right. back with those tickets one day. Okay, you kids have a good day. Thank you. Take thank care. You. Bye bye. <laughs> Woo! So cute. <laughs> what incarnation is a catawampus anyway? <laughs> oh, welcome to Marlon's Boba Review Show. Boba Review Show. What was that Boba <laughs> Review segment? I don't know. You just be like, hello, welcome to Marlon's Boba Review. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> I don't know if these are like peach syrup or actual peaches, but I'm about to find out. I got the peaches with uh, cream. Oh, it's definitely syrup. Peaches with cream boba. I don't see the boba. I don't see the boba. So, this is round two <laughs> of our five round uh, deliciousness here at Taste of Nuts. Mm -hmm. So, as you already can tell, because she told you, we got that boba and we got the elote with boysenberry 
You think we've exhausted how many times we can say boysenberry? I don't know, baby. I've stopped caring. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got the boysenberry butter mayonnaise with cotija cheese. And it was actually roasted over an open flame, which is very oh, good. Nice. They left the husk on, which is an interesting choice. I, I respect like it. it. I respect it, yeah. It looks cute. These little strings, when I was young in Mexico, I thought these things were unedible. And I was like, how the hell am I supposed to eat this? Mm. And then I took a bite and I was like, huh, it's just burnt hair. We're good. <laughs> burnt hair. Burnt, <laughs> burnt right. corn hair. Right. Ready? Yeah. I don't know what that was, sorry. <laughs> That's really good. It kind of sure? tastes like a yogurt. Yeah, that's what peaches and cream is. It's like a sweet dessert. dessert. Oh, really? Oh. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. But I'm liking it. Is it like thick or just like, explain. It's a little thick. It's like watered down yogurt. Hmm. But it doesn't have boba. I'm not getting any boba. Open the cup, check. Open the cup? Can I open? Oh, I can. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm used to boba having like a thin plastic layer, so. I'm pretty sure it does not have boba. No, just no boba at all. Yeah, and that's peach syrup. It's not actual peaches. It's called boba? It says popping boba. Yeah. Peaches and cream popping boba. I got no boba. Makes me disappointed because I love boba. Manny would probably be happy with this drink though. Do you uh, want to try it? Yeah, I will in a minute. Okay. What's your rating? Oh, my rating? Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Yeah. Pretty high. It's really good. Um, not what I was expecting. If it had boba, probably a nine. I couldn't drink a lot of it, but it's really good. All right, all right. Definitely all right. my turn. Mhm. Mm so, before I drink this, I should preface: I don't like boba. <laughs> I do not like boba at all. I yeah. don't like the teas. I don't like anything associated with boba. But I'm very open, so let's find out. Are you liking it? Oh, no, I, I don't know. I don't think you like it. This is so weird. Like I get a hint of like peach and it kind of tastes like a peach yogurt smoothie. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of down with that. Then I move the straw up. You get the water from the ice? No, no. What is it? That's a one out of 10, that's what that is. Really? Oh yeah. Why, what happened when you move the straw up? Just no peach syrup to save it. That was that was horrible. Oh, then don't do that. Drink it how it's meant to be. I did, I did. I'll shake the whole thing. Shake okay, the whole okay. thing. And then all the way down, up and down. You know, I gotta say, I thought like the purple ombre nope. was uh, syrup, but it's, it's actually the, the cup. No. One out no. of ten. One out of ten? Like at all. Oh, wow. Okay. Moving on. Okay, moving <laughs> on. <laughs> now it's time for the elote. Elote! All right, Marlene, coming from the motherland. You gotta have some high expectations or high limits, huh? Yeah, this actually looks really good. It has cotija, boysenberry mayo. Boysenberry butter mayonnaise. Butter mayonnaise. And that's it. That's it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's try it. I usually like mine with some like lemon and stuff, but. You know? A lot of lemon. Yeah, I put a lot of lemon in mine. All right, let's go. Mmm. I can't taste the boysenberry that much. A lot of the cotija cheese, it's still hot. So hard to chew, but it's good. Um, seven out of 10. Seven out of 10? Yeah. No, eight out of 10. Eight out of 10. Yeah, it's That's not cool. my favorite. Um, I like them more sour, like more lemon, citrus. I feel like you're just rating high to be nice. I can't tell. I don't know, I like it. <laughs> I can finish this whole thing. Yeah, that's fair. If, if, if okay. If she can finish it, she probably genuinely does enjoy it because she's super picky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like it, but you can't taste the poison berry that much. I don't think it makes much of a difference. Sad. No. My turn. Hello, welcome to Manny's Elote Review. <laughs> 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 All right, anyways, so Marlon took a second bite because she loved it. Um, but now I'm going to take my first bite. Oh, you got a lot of cheese. <laughs> yeah? How is it? Oh my god! Alright, hey, no, no, leave me some! I like it too! Wait, wait, slow down! 
Slow down, fool. Okay, fool. Okay, fool. Hey, fool. Calm down, fool. Please leave me how? Hey, send me a piece of that corn. <laughs> <laughs> how is it? I'm assuming you love it. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What do you think about the boysenberry flavor? It's non-existent. Yeah. It really is. I agree. The boysenberry flavor is definitely non-existent. It's aesthetic for sure. Let me see. Not even when I taste a little chunk, is it? Did we take a picture of it? I don't know. It doesn't matter now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean that butter, maybe it has something to do with the boysenberry. It's so smooth and so rich. It's absolutely delicious. And then the blackened taste from the corn because it's actually roasted is absolutely amazing. Yeah. This is a definite 10 out of 10. <laughs> we stand. Hey, slow down, fool! with aioli, colza, and some nachos. Not for cooker. They're not for. Not for the taco. Ooh, this is a hard shell, like corn tortilla. Wait, I don't follow it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Technical think difficulties. I know. Oops, cut it, cut it. <laughs> Ready. Let's do this. A good piece of shrimp and a good piece of aioli. Mmm! Mmm! That's really good. The shrimp's got a nice little kick from the aioli, or maybe how they spiced it, I don't know. But that's good. Really? Mm -hmm. Alright, let me try this. Let me try this. Take in mind, I also love shrimp. She does. Um, and I like it too. This it smells really good though. Mm -hmm. What's up? That's a 10 out of 10 for sure. All right, I'm telling you. It's so good. This stuff, the, the cabbage and stuff. Mm -hmm. If the you're coleslaw? apprehensive, I don't even know if that's coleslaw. It's coleslaw, that's how they advertise it. Oh, the coleslaw. If you're apprehensive to, to coleslaw that isn't sweet, because I know many people are, yeah. I highly recommend this one. The aioli sauce is, I'm guessing it's made out of sriracha, because that's very common for like anything that's based to be very creamy and spicy simultaneously. But it goes really, really well with this uh, coleslaw, because it almost seems to be pickled. Pickled cabbage is my guess. Um, so it's got a lot of like sour tartness, but some sweet with a little bit of a kick. It's not too bad. If my limb can handle it, you, uh, you probably can too. Yeah. So definitely a 10 out of 10 with this guy. 10 out of 10. Okay. So I noticed that there was a Knott's Berry Punch. It's not on the card, so you can't find it there. But if you come to Fiesta Village, um, some places have Knott's Berry Punch. So I was like, hey, I might as well give it a try. But you gotta buy this on your own. It's not on the card. <laughs> this is so good. Yeah? Yeah, it's like fruit punch, but boysenberry. But better. And better, yeah. It tastes so good and fresh. It feels like it was just squeezed. Now, something we've already tried before, but I loved it too much. Mm. Ah, okay. The carnitas fries. Can I skip on the sour cream? Or I mean, do I, I guess, if you want. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I know it's gonna kind of annoying. <laughs> I admit it. The whole experience is how you speak for the meal. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay. Um. Mm. Mm. Hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah. Eight out of 
out of 10. 8 out of 10? Wow. Yeah, it's good. All right, now it's my turn. So, as I said previously, I've already had this and I love it, but I wanted to try it again. Maybe it tastes different, we'll see. But I'm gonna start off with that berry, what is it, what do you call it? It's a Knott's Berry Punch. Knott's Berry Punch. Oh my God. Right? Oh look, there's a wildfire. Ooh. Oh! What's up, Mondo? How you doing? <laughs> uh, I want to try the esquite, but that's about it. Yeah, the esquite is good. <laughs> <laughs> Wildfire. While we were talking to Mondo, I drank probably like half of this. Oh my god, no, I like it I'm too much. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> so it is good and it is sweet. There's a little bit of, I, I can't really define it. It tastes like slightly mucusy. Huh? I, I don't know how to put it. Maybe it's just the consistency. Maybe it's how it's sitting in my body. But I don't know. The taste is good, all in all. Mucusy makes it sound gross, baby. No, no, no. I don't even. I don't even know how to put it. Maybe it's just that it's like getting caught up here. Mm. It's like uh, I don't know. I do like it though. I'll give it an eight out of ten. It tastes like you're biting the berry. It's like straight up berry juice. I guess eight out of ten. That's my final score. Eight out of ten. All yeah. right, I'll take it. Now for the carnitas fries. These bad boys. Oh no, I'm dropping it everywhere. <laughs> You're dropping the sour cream again, baby. Oh. How is it? Just as good as before? It's better the second time around. Really? Because you didn't drop your sour cream? I know. <laughs> it's like all the deliciousness without the embarrassment of last time. <laughs> <laughs> The one thing I do wish they did offer here, which I haven't really seen in general, is like a, a classic salsa. Mm. So they do offer chips with boysenberry salsa, but I think this is slightly a little dry, but it is still very greasy and very like juicy because the carnitas, they're naturally greasy. That's how they're supposed to be. Yeah. Um, so it is really good and the fries are pretty crispy but not to the point where you like hate yourself because they've been out for an hour. <laughs> so all in all, it's pretty decent and oh, it's a 10 out of 10, that's easy. 10 out of 10, oh, we yeah. had very different thoughts on the berry punch and the carnitas. Like opposite ratings. We'll see you in round four. <laughs> <laughs> round four. Hello, it's Marlene, very full. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting really full. I had to walk all the way to get this agua fresca um, because there was no line. So this is the boysenberry mint agua fresca. We decided not to use our card for it and just buy it. Just cause, I don't know. Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> mm. No. It tastes too much like the basil lemonade. Basil? Basil. But not with mint instead of basil. Really? Yeah. It tastes just like it? Yeah. Let me try this. Does it taste like lemonade though? No. Okay, because this is an agua fresca. I didn't expect it to taste like the other one. Yeah, it tastes more like the other one. I don't agree with you. Really? Oh yeah. It, it tastes like it, but instead of basil with mint. I think the only similarity is the fact that there's boysenberry in both. Really? Yeah. Okay, what do you this think This is then? very smooth and very minty. Mm -hmm. Just like with the lemonade, the, the basil was really strong. Mm. This mint is pretty strong. Yeah? Definitely gives it a very refreshing element though. Mm. I don't know. Something about like that boysenberry water or the boysenberry tea. It's so freaking good. I just want pure boysenberry tea. Yeah. Well, you had this boysenberry juice and it was really sweet. Yeah. So I do think the dilution a little bit is a good thing. But 
I think the mint is too strong for me. Mm. I, I think it personally, I'm not the biggest fan of mint flavoring. Uh, basil, I'm not the biggest fan either, but the other one just worked for me. And they're both very intense though, and a little overpowering. But the mint, I'm not feeling it nearly as much. I give this one a seven out of 10. Seven? I give it a five. Yeah. The other one was a freaking 15 for me, so uh, yeah. <laughs> You know, it'd be like that. So oddly enough, here at Taste of Knots, at Knott's Berry Farm, they've actually opened up the games. I did not expect that. Now, they don't have all the games open, but they do have, as far as I know, these two. You can nail a piñata, or you can roll a ball. The Fiesta games, I mean, they're open. This is one of the closest steps we have to opening the theme park officially. And that is freaking amazing. Hello everyone. Welcome to Marlene's um, Blue Velvet Lemon Cookie Witch with Vanilla Hand Scooped Ice Cream Review. So, I already tried this, but uh, it didn't record. Sorry about that, y'all. So technical we're gonna do it again. Yeah, technical difficulties. So, let's do it again. Oh, oh I don't know if Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> Too much um, blue velvet lemon cookie stuff, not enough hand scooped ice cream. The ice cream itself, delicious. Tastes great. But this cookie, it is so, yeah, stiff, hard, and it takes away from the sweetness. So. And they barely gave you any ice cream. Mm hmm. So, a solid um, 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10? Let me try this bad boy. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, some, some fell. It's fine. Right in the middle. That's hard. Yeah. Oh. You got a big bite, boy. I tried to get a lot of ice cream. The ice cream's good. The ice cream's good. I was kind of scooping it out with my finger. But when the ice cream's gone, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I give this like, like a three, four out of ten. Three, four out of ten? That's a low score. But that's fair. The ice cream's good, but when it's gone, it's like, okay. But... Yeah. Oh, you right. really flatten that. Oh, yeah. It used to be thick. <laughs> On to the next. <laughs> On to the next. Hello. Welcome to Marlene's fried boysenberry pie bites. Pie bites with powdered sugar review. <laughs> hey, let's get. Ooh! Hot. <laughs> Notice how we actually have good lighting this time. <laughs> yeah, we, we brought the light. We anticipated okay. being here at night this time. I can't blow on it because it has so much powdered sugar. Okay, I'll just go for it. Oh, yeah. Get it from the fry part if it's hot. Mm. Is it hot, hot? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. What a cross section. Mmm. Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. So, imagine the Disney beignets with boysenberry inside. Really? Yeah. That's what it tastes like. And more crunchy. Do you prefer the beignets or do you prefer those? Um, I think I prefer the beignets just because I love sweetness mm -hmm. and the boysenberry really tones the sweetness down, mm. but it's still really good. Mm. So, I don't know, seven out of 10. Seven out of 10? Yeah, not my favorite just because I don't like mushy texture. I prefer crunch, mm -hmm. but the flavor, good. All right, my turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, welcome to Maze. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I'm just actually gonna go ahead and pick up where she left off because I think that's a gorgeous cross section. All right. I'm gonna get a little bit more powdered sugar. How do you like it? You don't like it. I don't like it. Ah, tell me, what don't you like about them? Well, like you were saying, the skin and the outside, the fried part, is actually really good. Mm hmm But... I 
The boysenberry is not strong on this one. Or maybe it's I too I think strong. the boysenberry is a little strong. Mm. Issue with this one, for me anyways, you guys might like this, but I feel like this boysenberry concoction, whatever they have, I don't know if it's straight up boysenberry or if they added something, mm -hmm. it's really tart. Yeah. It's not quite sour, but it's just, it, it's tart. I really, I don't like the consistency. Mm. It's very, very mushy in the middle. Yeah, I prefer the crunch. Mm -hmm. Like the skin, like this part. That's great, you can even hear it. Listen, listen. Oh my God. I hope you could catch that on the video. ASMR. <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> but I don't know, just, just this filling. Probably yeah, some of the bits and pieces of the frying. Cause there's oh, this yeah. fried dough there, right? That's right. Oh, that's a funnel cake right there. Come on. Mm. That's delicious. Really, I, I just... Boys and Mary for this one doesn't work for me. Yeah. But, um, yeah. What's your rating? I give it... I think a five is fair. A five? A five. Because it is... It has a decent taste. But the crunch is just phenomenal. Yeah. But I think a five is good mid-range. And uh, we'll see you at round five, the finale. Dun dun dun! Hello, we're back for round five. This is our final meal. That's exciting. I'm honestly dead. I'm very full, but we had to get these again. We're both very familiar with these already, so we wanted to get just this one, just this one. Yeah, we're familiar with this one, so we wanted to end it with something I know I enjoy. This is the Mrs. Knott's chicken slider with aioli and pickles. I don't like pickles, so I put them to the side. And some crispy I think it's pronounced potatoes. aioli, actually. Aioli? Mm. Aioli, aioli. Oh, well. These fries. Ooh! Mm-hmm. You hear the crunch? A lot. I love the crunch. These fries are good. Not as salty as I like them, but very good. Very, very good. All right. Now for the chicken slider. That tiny sandwich. My tiny sandwich. It's a good tiny sandwich. Right. Hello? Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. That's a chicken sandwich. Mm. I like it. There is a lot of bread, but when you get past it, the chicken sandwich is amazing. Question, was it better the first or second time around? Second time around, what would you rate it? 10 out of 10. Absolutely? Mm-hmm. All right. No questions asked. No. We're gonna actually gonna move right along to the second item. Oh. <laughs> which is the uh, tater tots with barbecue pulled pork, cheddar cheese, and some sort of chipotle ranch, I believe. Manny got this one with his last uh, food item. We really ate a lot today. We did. Honestly. I need to take a picture. Yeah. <laughs> Catch that on the Instagram. I don't think I took a picture of that. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. I don't know where to start. In the middle. In the middle? I'm not like you. You gotta just go for it, babe. Okay. I'm going for it. Be adventurous. Okay, okay. Is this good? Is this a good vibe? Oh, yeah. Okay, making sure. Oh, it might be spicy. <laughs> mm. It's got a little kick. Yeah. But nothing in time. That's really good. You like it? Mm -hmm. I'm thoroughly surprised. For continuing to wear your face I don't think I like it as much as you're gonna like it. But I do like it. But the fact that you like it is insane to me. What would you rate this food? Oh, I was like, what is that, a four? <laughs> no, eight out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. Now my finale. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Finale time. So I'm gonna be trying this sandwich with the aioli. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw this pickle back on there. So I feel like it deserves to be on there. I don't like pickles, personally. But, you know, sometimes they go well with other things, like spicy chicken, for example. Mm. So let's give this bad boy a taste. Oh, you took such a big bite, boy. Mm -hmm. 
How is it? The pickle definitely makes it better. Mm. For sure. Oh, I love the crunch. Good crunch on the chips. Absolutely. I have no issue giving this a 10 out of 10. Really? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. You think the flavor of the chips is good too? Yeah. I think the pickle is what bumped it up from last time for me. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. mm. All right. Now, my final item for the night mm -hmm. is tater tots paired with this guy, the basil <laughs> lemonade. His basil lemonade. Basil. Basil. We actually got a free one because uh, the ladies were like, you know what? It's the end of the night. You guys want a free one? And we're like, yeah. So shout out to the Wilderness Broiler. You guys rock. <laughs> Another shout out to at Mr. Scary Dre on Instagram. Andre is the one who suggested this guy. He said this was his favorite, I believe. So um, this is for you, Dre. <laughs> you better not let me down, brother. He's doing a big <clears throat> bite there. Of course. You got to go big or go home, right? Yeah. How is it? Oh my god. <laughs> he likes it, y'all. Look how much he's eating. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Baby. Dre, if you're watching, you were not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> is that good? Give me a rating. I need to take one more bite, one serious bite. Was those not serious oh. bites? Oh my God. You're insane. I think, I think this might beat the carnitas fries. That beats the carnitas fries? I think so. No way. Hold on. That sauce really takes it over the edge. Spicy barbecue, perfectly cooked tater tots. You can see they're nice and golden crisp. That mm -hmm. is a beautiful tater tot. Mm. It's exactly what you want to see in a tater tot. This nice sauce, like the pork isn't overtly dressed with the barbecue sauce, which is in my mind a good thing. Because I think a good pork um, relies less on the sauce and it's naturally juicy because it was cooked correctly. All right, Gordon Ramsay. I'm not the one who says basil. <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, hey, I get down in the kitchen, you already know. True. But He's realistically, like, this thing is freaking delicious. Yeah. If it had more sauce, this would definitely be, like, far better than the other one. I think this could use some more sauce. Um, I thought you said that the sauce was enough. No, no, no. Sauce. Like, like the actual pink sauce. Oh, okay. The Chipotle okay. Ranch. If it had a little bit more of a kick, it would be more acceptable as well. But, I mean, just as is, it's absolutely phenomenal. And I highly recommend this one. Nicarnitas fries. Those are my winners for today. This Nicarnitas fries, number one for the day. What's your number one? My number one for the day? Mm, oh, the corn on the cob. Yeah? Yeah, that was really good, the corn on the cob. Even corn more on than the cob? this guy? Yeah, more than that guy for sure. I'm sad. <laughs> yeah, I still like it though. Corn on the cob and um, the shrimp tacos really took the cake for me. Those were delicious. Yeah, they were delicious. And drink wise, I recommend, I know it's not on the punch card, which is a little sad, but y'all should really get the Knott's Berry Punch. It's really good. What stand did you get that at? Um, where did I get it at? It was the cantina. I got it at the cantina where you can find the shrimp tacos. And Fiesta Village. Fiesta Village, yeah. They might have it other places, but who knows, I didn't see. <laughs> and that wraps up the food tour. We'll see you in a hot minute. Woo. So before we step out, we really wanted to check out the cemetery. This is so sad. Here lies Diamond Ray. Cross-eyed Bill. He died reluctantly, but uh, what did he say? Oh, uh, well, it's just something like that. Oh, no, I, don't here. I don't think it's real, Marlon. I know, but this is kind of spooky. Yeah, that's the point. We're in ghost town. You want to go inside of the coffin? Oh my god, that's iconic! Henry Road. John McGee. Rest in peace until I come back, your widow Anna. <laughs> Sam Andreas. Killed in a quake. Wasn't his fault, now he's still, but the shaking won't halt. Damn. Oh my god. 
Iconic. Hold on, I'm gonna do some. Oh, oh my god, I almost stepped on someone's grave. I am Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a spider? I swear that was a giant spider. I hope not. Oh no, what is that? It's a grasshopper. It's a grasshopper. Oh, I got scared for nothing. You scared me. All right. Why oh, you scared me? Look at those lights though. It's pretty. The lights in the distance are absolutely gorgeous. Now it's very far, but night. I highly, highly recommend. All right, I'll give in. I'll go in the closet. Not very oh, far in general. I highly recommend. Webs in there. Never mind. Oh, that's what I was in. Yeah, you wanted Oops. the spider webs. Whatever. <laughs> All righty. So we decided to do a spooky outro today. Oh my God. But yeah, that wraps up our trip here at Taste of Knots round two. Woo! Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Please do us a huge favor. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe with those bell notifications turned on. Follow us on social media at OADV underscore media. We'll see you next time here on the Omni Adventures YouTube channel. My name is Manny. And I'm Merlin. And we are out. Bye. I think this place is salt made out of TNT. On her breast. The salt you could say it's the bomb.